I know for myself, I've just always really wanted to know how I can be most skillful <laughs> in life. You know, um, like show up in the best way in each moment in relationships and and really how can I be of benefit? Like if I, it maybe wasn't like the words that I always use, like how can I be of benefit in the world, but it was definitely of of great um, concern and consideration to me if I look back at my life and um, yeah just really wanting to um, give the best of myself in relationships in situations know that I was meeting someone fully loving fully um, you know kind of and it would be painful when I would see myself sort of acting out on like frustration or annoyance or hurting people or when I felt hurt or and all of these experiences and that yeah just I really wanted to kind of navigate life in the best possible way and know really how to do that how do I do that what's my um, guiding principle you could say what's the basis of that and and really, so I could, so much of my life was spent like watching other people trying to um, get the best way of being, observing, or through education. Like I'll do lots of education, then maybe I'll, I'll know how to be in the world. <laughs> and um, seeing sort of role modeling from family and friends and assuming and taking on different ways of acting and being. And, and in that way, you know, learning many things and feeling like I was doing okay within that, you know, able to have friendships and <coughs> intimate relationships, many different intimate relationships, you know, <laughs> kind of would happen and then something would feel too challenging, like for myself or the other person, so that would be a kind of reason to stop that and remove myself. And, um, and really, like, yeah, so flowing along with this, like, great intent to be of benefit and feeling sometimes it would work out and other times I would just basically feel a bit of a failure and then I wasn't really achieving this kind of goal of benefit or I'd have to like remove myself from a situation because it would just feel too challenging or um, just this sense of like not really showing up fully in the way that I really wanted to and when I came across this, the Balance View training and came to an open meeting like this and was introduced to the nature of my mind, it was a great shift. It was the start of a great shift. It was the start of getting to know something about myself that was, that is wholly reliable and constant, always present, always available, and of immediate benefit, immediate benefit, present as our true nature right now. Not something far off in a distant future, but the very nature of our mind, open intelligence. So we get introduced to open intelligence, something that's always been present for you all the way through your life and will be into the future and is right now and you can access in any moment. And to, in to introduce yourself to open intelligence, just stop thinking for a moment. Notice what remains. Alertness, clarity, openness, intelligence that's open like a clear sky. It's the thoughts come back in, open intelligence remains. Open intelligence is the basis of our thoughts, the basis of everything we perceive. It's pervading everything we perceive this power to know everything, that is what's constant. And getting to know this started to open up a, a stability for me, an openness and an availability in life that didn't feel possible there before. Because before everything was, you know, like was so amazingly spoken about in the talk, it was like everything was about my thoughts. <laughs> describing my experience, you know, coming into situations and, and having my only navigation and my only guide as my thoughts. And they were always changing, always changing 
you know, about myself, about other people, how I was doing. And if the thought felt good, it was like a sign to continue on. If it was a bad thought, then it would be like an immediate, like, I'm doing something wrong or someone else is doing something wrong. And um, this was a very shaky ground to be basing, like, navigating life on. And, um, and so get it being introduced to open intelligence offered a new choice. A new choice in every moment in how I wanted to relate to my experience to all people, to reality itself, and um, and what we what we what we can use the practice that we use is short moments, short moments of recognizing open intelligence, just whenever we naturally remember to do so. So, in the in the thinking about taking a short moment, all is well. <laughs> And then we just remember to take a short moment. Sometimes the thought reminds us to take a short moment. That's good. <laughs> so, you know, there's nothing, there's, nothing, um, there's nothing wrong. And I completely understand, because I remember for myself at the beginning of the practice, having so many, thinking about short moments so much. And it's a very sweet um, occupation, <laughs> you could say. You know, I just wanted to understand. I just wanted to see this in my own experience. So all those thoughts are perfect as they are. There's nothing to be done with them. You know, allow them to be as they are. Allow them to, you know, arise and res resolve naturally, like a flight path of a bird in, s in the sky. Nothing to be done with them. And then, you know, what we, what we see with this training, because everything about balanced view is the constant reminder of open intelligence. A reminder to take short moments. A reminder to rely on this stable basis of mind, this stable ground that's available to us. This and get to know this immediate benefit that's available to us in life. So um, just there with the, you know, feeling like we didn't take a short moment, then remembering a short moment. <laughs> just like that. Thinking, was, I was that a short moment? Then we just take a short moment. <laughs> just like that. It, just in this present moment, nothing to complicate. Nothing to undo or unpick or work out just to rest naturally. This is the practice for short moments, to rest mind and body naturally, as it is. As open intelligence is already present, present, we've got nowhere to go, really, to find it. And this is very good news. This is very good news about being human, that there's no efforting to be made, and there's nothing to change in our thoughts and emotions. And so also with the, with the, with the wish to um, you know, speak most beneficially in a situation. And again there, just as those thoughts arise to allow everything to be as it is. You know, maybe there's been an impulse to act on certain thoughts. But now we practice something else. We rely on a short moment of open intelligence and we bring that into that situation. So that's not getting rid of that thought or making it wrong or doing anything with it. It's just allowing this present moment and its completeness to be as it is, us included. <laughs> open intelligence shining brightly, shining as that thought, you know, and, and just like, just like was described before, the, you know, the planets and stars that f seem so vivid at night, as the sun rises and at daybreak and uh, throughout the day, the planets just get outshone. And so is the way with our data streams in open intelligence. The data streams don't go anywhere. But more and more we come to know them as the beneficial energy of our intelligence. This dynamic energy that's always on, always on. You see that we can't stop the flow of our mind, we can't stop the flow of our experience, so increasingly we relax into it. And as we relax into it, we relax into open intelligence, into open intelligence indivisible from data streams then we more and more access the skillful means that are available to us. And this is the amazing thing that I saw, like everything I was looking for through my life in best navigating life, you know, showing up fully, how to be of benefit, it's found in the recognition and living as open intelligence in allowing data streams to be as they are and training this up. You know, this requires training up. It's already present. We don't have to get it from anywhere but I've seen it requires training up. It requires a commitment, commitment to knowing my true nature and really wanting this, 
because seeing the benefits, I quickly started to see results. I started to see an ease of being in myself and an ease of relating with others and the ability to show up, like show up in, in life situations that feel challenging for ourselves and others. What a gift, what a gift. And especially after having time here at this center and participating in the 12 empowerments, Wow, what an opportunity to go back into our life and really see the empowerment that's taken place and the stability that's available to us and the availability that we have. And this is what I saw. It was amazing to, for family members, relationships which I'd always found troubling and, you know, family members with all different types of situations and data streams going on and surprising myself with my stability and also I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> I was not alone in life situations. I had a trainer. <laughs> I had a community. I had a teaching. I had this, you know, worldwide support for me to rest for me to rest in my beneficial power and just to even bring that to mind brought something about for me. It was like, wow, rather than me as sort of little Lizzie just trying to navigate through life and make the best of everything, it was suddenly this incredible breadth and depth of, of true support and wisdom that was available to me that I could draw on and call upon at any time. Such a change. And then really seeing how I can show up because we just want to show up with the greatest love and care. And, you know, our, the stability that we find in open intelligence is an immense gift to everybody, everybody in our lives. And this is what I've seen, where the data streams aren't taking us to and fro anymore. Everything's still arising, but we see it's obviously within open intelligence, obviously held within the, the beneficial power of open intelligence. So this is what guides us, short moments of rest you know, relying on the support of Balanced View to really see how we can show up in a really powerful and beneficial way and it's instinctive and it's natural. And we see that our data streams, whatever they are, they, they support us in this. And this is such a transformation, rather than being something to avoid or get rid of or fear, they become our greatest power, our wisdom, our clarity to see into situations and really show up fully. <laughs>